Welcome to Flavors for Life Healthy Culinary Movement. Let's learn about MSG. What is MSG? MSG, also known as monosodium glutamate, is a common ingredient and food additive used to boost the flavor of processed, canned, and frozen foods. Despite being found in abundance throughout much of the modern food supply, MSG should by no means be a staple ingredient in a healthy diet. Foods with MSG Unfortunately, there are many hidden sources of MSG in food, and it can be found in everything from fast food to meat products. The best way to find out if MSG is lurking in your favorite foods is to simply check the label and look for ingredients like monosodium glutamate, glutamic acid, glutamate, or yeast extract. Here are the top 15 foods that contain MSG. Potato chips, fast food, seasonings, convenience meals, cold cuts, iced tea mixes, salty snacks, instant noodles, sports drinks, processed meats, canned soups, soy sauce, bouillon or broth, salad dressings, crackers. MSG side effects. Causes negative reactions in some people. Can cause symptoms like muscle tightness, numbness, tingling, weakness, flushing, and the MSG headache can cause free radical formation. Consuming large amounts of MSG could cause oxidative damage to the cells and contribute to free radical formation. May contribute to weight gain. Some studies show an association between MSG consumption and weight gain in certain populations. Could increase blood pressure. Research shows an association between MSG consumption and higher levels of blood pressure, which can contribute to heart disease. Could be linked to metabolic syndrome. MSG may increase risk factors for metabolic syndrome, including high blood pressure, excess amounts of body fat, or abnormal cholesterol levels, found mostly in unhealthy foods. Foods with MSG typically offer little in terms of nutrition apart from extra calories, refined carbs, fat, and sodium. MSG versus salt and sodium. Much like MSG, consuming high amounts of sodium can contribute to a long list of potential health problems. MSG contains sodium, but has about one-third the amount of sodium as table salt, which is why it's often used to reduce the sodium content of processed foods while still supplying the same level of flavor. It's best to keep your intake of both in moderation on a healthy diet. Reducing your intake of processed foods and unhealthy snacks is the best way to cut down on both sodium and MSG consumption. MSG versus glutamate. Glutamate, also known as glutamic acid, is an important amino acid found in many types of foods, including mushrooms, meat, fish, milk, and tomatoes. It has natural flavor-enhancing properties that can help enhance the taste of many dishes naturally. Monosodium glutamate or MSG, on the other hand, is defined as the sodium salt of glutamic acid. Initially discovered in 1908, MSG is a product often used in many foods today that is produced through a fermentation process. The main difference between glutamate and monosodium glutamate, however, is in the way that they are each processed within the body. Healthier Alternatives The best way to completely cut out all MSG food sources from your diet is to simply minimize your intake of processed junk foods and incorporate more healthy whole foods into your weekly rotation instead. Mushrooms, tomatoes, and Parmesan cheese are three natural, healthy sources of glutamic acid that can be added to dishes to punch up the flavor. Experimenting with some healing herbs and spices in your foods can help maximize taste while also delivering a host of health benefits. For more information about our Flavors for Life Healthy Culinary Movement, please visit www.flavorsforlife.org.